Architecture is a collective experience. You know, it's not a private experience. When we walk through spaces, there's a collective energy. You know, and certainly music is one of the most collective forces on the in the human race. There's nothing more powerful than a group of singing gospel music in a church. You know, that totally brings out a certain level of emotion. Architecture is about emotion. To try to bring back emotion, what can you do? What do you want to talk about? Music is a wonderful way, is a wonderful tool because it's packed with that emotion. I mean, it has the potential to make you cry. And I think architecture should have the potential to make you cry, you know. I mean, it makes me cry. Certain buildings make me cry, you know. But, you know, you know, that's my problem, right? This is a cancer care center, and I was looking for some connection to that site. And in the old cathedral, it's from the 11th century, and during that time, the monks, when they sang, they, they had a kind of notation called nooms, shape notes, which was very interesting to me, and I was like analyzing these shape notes, and I decided to make a connection between stained glass and the sort of beauty of light coming in colored glass, the mullions of the windows, which would be a kind of staff that would wrap the building, and embed in the glass the kind of diagrams of these shape notes. And that became the body of the building and brings a kind of wonderful colored light to the inside. And because we're using this sort of special ecological membrane called Ocalux, the colored films are embedded in the Ocalux. So what happens is it's a new kind of stained glass in a way because what you see is this sort of blurring like a Mark Rothko painting, the blurring around the, the different shape note diagrams, they're, they're, they're sort of blurred out and then they get, you get this wash of color on the inside. <laughs>